everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about Season 18, surprise, surprise. And there seems to be a lot of information that says, well, we aren't going to get a whole lot in Season 18, but today we're going to cover what you will be getting for sure, but what also will be coming in the near future that we might be waiting a little bit longer for. We're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So there's a lot of information going on around Season 18. In fact, we are getting a new trailer this Monday that was announced by Apex Legends for Kill Code Part 2, which will be coming at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But with that, there's a lot of information that seems to be very confusing for the general player base. One thing to know is that ILU Games did let us know, and he is actually right about this, is that it does seem like a lot of content is being prepared for Season 19, and that this time in Season 18, we're not going to get a huge amount of changes. This isn't going to be re-revolutionary. However, we are going to be talking about some of the things we can be expecting. For instance, one of the big things is that it does look like the Prowler will be coming into the care package. It was spotted in a trailer, and it's got the little red icon, and it makes sense that this like fire would come back with it. They're also going to be doing some nerfs to the SMGs. Oz put out one that said, remember when SMGs received damage fall off similar to the charge rifle, basically making them pea shooters at distances higher than close range. He implied that it was a leak, and I am here to say there is some more additional information on it, such as the increased gravity, laser sight nerf, damage reduction, and an increased recoil, at least from what I have heard. The Nemesis is also looking to be nerfed, but we don't know how it will be nerfed yet, and also you can expect some stuff for Ballistic and Seer. Ballistic's mainly getting a change to his tat school, where it's the duration and damage that will be affected mostly by this, and Seer in a similar instance will get a slower rate and silence type for his tactical. There was also some talk about a guy who participated in ALGS saying that Respawn is going to nerf the aim assist, but that is still far away. I believe they're only just beginning to talk about this, and this would be for PC controller players. I highly doubt this actually goes for console players, unless they make it full crossplay. Along with that, we can be expecting some interesting stuff in regards to the sniper meta. There is going to be a new charge rifle change that was leaked. It is no longer hit scan and will have projectile drop and travel time. The shots can be charged with a held trigger. The longer a shot is charged, the more damage it does, and it can now be equipped with extended magazines. This basically becomes a rail gun, if you have any idea what that is. That's basically the idea that Respawn and Apex Legends seems to be going for. Along with that, Oz let us know that the longbow was going to be getting changed as well. We've gone over that on this channel also, and they're going to go ahead and actually buff it because, you know, they want to make the sniper meta more powerful. The charge rifle, well, isn't getting more powerful, is completely changed so that it still is somewhat viable. Unfortunately, when ILU Games was talking about big changes coming in Season 19, what he most likely meant was that Stormpoint does seem to be getting completely destroyed and rebuilt, but that we won't actually see the changes until Season 19. It's always possible they decide to release it in this season, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense and it doesn't match up with I don't think what anyone has heard so far. Along with that, there is a engine upgrade coming. This is not a new rebuilt engine. It's not a Source 2. It's just an upgrade to the engine that Oz let us know would be a new material system for skins and scenery, new types of VFX, a sub-tick system, and a higher FPS. PS cap and optimized files for our pack compression, meaning that you would get better audio and a lot of the bugs and issues would be fixed in the game. But probably the biggest thing in season 18 that Respawn is banking on is the newest legend coming into the game and everyone has heard about it. It is Revenant Reborn. And there seems to be a lot of confusion on this. The first thing to know is that Revenant Reborn was first originally leaked all the way back in February 15th, but it was actually even before then because I remember actually doing a video when we first found out and I believe it was season 14, very early season 15. And when his original ability came out, it basically looked like this data mine set right here, where he had a seismic prison, grenade rev shell, and a shadow duel in a shadow form, and a 1v1 fight. Most of you remember that as the original abilities. Now, there have been multiple different leaks about it. In fact, there was one from a QA tester that pretty much confirmed what I loot games had heard that gave the specifics of the shadow form, shadow dash, and the ultimate using the rev totem, and it actually gave the exact stats of how those things would work. And even to this day, there are still changes being added to it, and people are like, well, what's the real list? And this is going to be something that might shock some of you. It has been three seasons since we first found out Rev Reborn and his original abilities, and they seem to be changing. That happens all the time in games. In fact, let's take a look right here at Catalyst when she was originally leaked with her abilities in season 12. That is correct. This is from season 12. Her tat school puts up this giant barrier, which reinforces, and you can build on top, going on top of the structures. In fact, her ultimate is no longer that veil that blocks everything. In fact, it's a tower very similar to what Horizon's ult is that you can stand on top of and shoot down from. Now, as we know, Catalyst was really in season 15 and her abilities look very much different from her original leaked playtest. And Revenant Reborn has been released from three seasons ago and so coming into season 18 his abilities are going to be a lot different from what the developers were originally doing. Things change all the time and so whenever you guys get these kind of leaks and this new information always keep in mind that things are going to change throughout the development process and nothing is set in stone until we actually see it in game. Let me know down below how do you feel about the charge rifle nerf, the seer nerf, the ballistic buff, Loba being moved to a different class and don't forget to check
check out this second channel right here by my editor Nobel, and until next time, legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.